would have imagined that a relatively unknown spiritual master living in Agra, India from 1818 to 1878 would eventually influence the lives of millions around the world. Shiv Dayal Singh, the founder of Radha Somi, has had an impact on a number of disparate fronts, including religion, literature, music, education, industry, philosophy, consciousness studies, and even culinary habits. To properly map the Radhasomi connection around the globe, it is necessary to show precisely how Shiv Dayal Singh's teachings directly or indirectly touched upon so many different fields of interest. In religion, for example, we can genealogically trace over 50 different movements back to the founder of Radhasomi, including groups like Ekanka that don't even consciously acknowledge their indebtedness. In literature, whole novels such as Paul Twitchell's Talons of Time and The Tiger's Fang have been published in Europe and North America that are based on the teachings of Sharp Yoga. In music, a significant number of recording artists, famous and not so well known, have been inspired by Saint Mat and have, in turn, incorporated what they admire into their lyrics and songs, such as Dave Mason's Mystic Traveller, that was reportedly inspired by his association with John Roger Hinkins, the founder of MSIA, who at one time alleged that he was spiritually connected to Sawan Singh of Radha Somi Satang Beos. In education and in industry, the Dayal Bagh Satsang in particular has been at the forefront of incorporating Shiv Dayal Singh's ethical values and spiritual aspirations into their manifold operations. In philosophy and consciousness studies, a number of scholars both in India and abroad have attempted to show how Santmat ideas on meditation can be open to scientific investigation and confirmation. Perhaps the greatest single ethical influence that Shiv Dayal Singh and the whole of the Radhasomi movement and the vast majority of those with an acknowledged genealogical connection has had is in the movement's adherence to a strict lacto-vegetarian diet. A number of satsangis throughout the world, but quite prominently in North America, have developed very successful business enterprises in the food industry that have produced a diverse range of vegetarian-related products. An initiative Kirpal Singh, founder of Ruhane Satsang in Delhi, and who was a close disciple of Sawan Singh of Radhasomi Satsang Beos, created an organic cereal company entitled Nature's Path in 1985. It sells only vegetarian products and is one of the most successful natural food companies in North America, earning over millions annually. While one may be completely unaware of Radha Somi, the fact remains that the eating habits of millions are being influenced by its core ethic, Ahimsa, towards animals. Another very successful vegetarian business that was directly influenced by the teachings of Radha Somi is Amy's Foods, which was started by Andy and Rachel Berliner in 1987 and named after their daughter. Founded in Petaluma, California with headquarters in Santa Rosa, this is one of the largest organic frozen food companies in the world. Both Andy and Rachel were initiated by the late Sharan Singh, 1916 to 1990, of Radha Somi Satsang Beos, and have also developed one of the first drive through vegetarian fast food outlets in California. Loving Hut, the famous vegan restaurant chain, has over 140 cafes around the world. It was founded and inspired by Ching Hai, who was born in Vietnam in 1950, and though from a Catholic and Buddhist background, eventually received initiation from the controversial Sant Mat guru Thakar Singh, 1929 to 2005. Though later she tried to distance herself from him by claiming instead that she was a disciple of some unnamed and unknown Himalayan guru. 
Qinghai advocates a vegan diet and has been instrumental in spreading the ideal of an ahimsa lifestyle around the world, but particularly among Vietnamese and Chinese communities in Europe, America, and Australia. There are a number of other vegetarian companies that have emerged during the past century which have been inspired by other Indian gurus, such as Swami Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada, founder of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, Pramahansa Yogananda, founder of the Self-Realization Fellowship, and Yogi Bhajan, founder of the Healthy, Happy and Holy Organization, 3HO. Each of these organizations has spread the idea of vegetarianism via a large network of restaurants and food companies.